Her question is, if a person forgets, they are in a state of janaba, and they pray several prayers in a state of janaba before remembering, what should they do? Okay, we're talking of course about a man or a woman who experiences a major impurity due to sexual discharge, complete, and of course even without sexual discharge, or due to wet dreams. Why? Because the janaba of a woman during the menses, she doesn't have to pray at all. Now, if the person forgot that he or she had this intimate relationship which requires to remove it, uh, performing ghusl, they forgot and they prayed. One prayer, two prayers, ten prayers. Then they remembered. The wife says to the husband, did you perform ghusl? Ghusl for what? Uh, did you remember? Do you remember that we had this intimate relationship? I did my ghost. Did you? No, I didn't. Okay, so how many prayers that you've been praying without ghost? You made wudu. Five, ten? You have to repeat them all. Why? Because the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, La salata bi ghayri tuhur. In the hadith, exactly the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa said, La yaqbalu allahu sadaqatan min ghulul, wa la salatan bi ghayri tuhur. Which means Allah does not accept a charity from a wealth or money which was earned unlawfully. A stone property, then you give it a charity, it will not be accepted. And the second, a prayer which is offered without the proper tahara. Without the proper tahara. And this is, by the way, a reminder for the gentlemen who use the urinal. And the urinal while standing. And they just uh, zip off their pants and they go to pray. What happened to removing the impurities to the stinja? To clean up the earth, your private, well, they're not used to it. They just make wudu, then they offer the prayer. Wudu is invalid, the prayer is invalid, and any ibadah which requires tahara is invalid accordingly, such as tawaf, for instance. Why? Because the person based everything on a vain practice, did not purify himself or clean up after answering the call uh, of nature.